we are discussing saddle point it is a continuation of the previous video in the previous video we made one plan that how to find out saddle point number in a given matrix we planned in this way that at first we shall consider row wise maximum and column wise minimum let it be we can also go for other ways so i shall find out the maximum of each row and i shall put them in the respective mm array you know the location number in this particular mm array will denote the row number for which the maximum data has been put then then i shall find out the minimum of a certain column okay column wise minimum i shall find out then in the same loop i shall check whether the corresponding minimum whether it is a minimum along with that whether it is matching with this particular value kept in mm if they are matching both using and logic that means that is the saddle point that means let us suppose here in this particular column the, what is the minimum one that is 20 then if it is 20 and here if it is 20 then it is a saddle point if it is a 20 and if the 20 is here also then that will be saddle point if it is 20 or 20 is and sorry and 20 is here also so that will indicate it is a saddle point in this way the process will be there and the full max min logic will be kept under k is equal to 1 to 2 and before entering k i shall make flag is equal to 1 and while doing comparison i shall write flag star on the left hand side and also on the right hand side flag star so when the flag is equal to 1 max will calculate max and minimum will calculate minimum but when i shall go for k is equal to 2 then prior going i shall make flag is equal to minus flag so the flag will become minus 1 so the loop which was calculating maximum will now calculate minimum and the loop which was calculating minimum will not calculate maximum in this way the process will be uh, continued and in this way the program will give all the saddle point numbers using max min and min max logics see initialize the array a r lower bound to upper bound and column lower bound to column upper bound okay flag is equal to 1 as we planned for k is equal to 1 to 2 as we planned so this particular k loop is getting terminated here is getting terminated here now you are calculating the row wise maximum in the first case the row wise maximum and keeping it keeping it in the mm array see for r is equal to 0 r less than r upper bound r plus plus that means for each and every row i'm going for this mm r is equal to a r 0 what is 0 there that means the first data i'm putting in mm the first data i'm putting in mm and the first data is at the column number 0 is that the column number 0 then i shall compare with the rest columns so here the column number will be 1 to column upper bound 1 to column upper bound so now if flag star mmr is less than flag star arc that means if mmr is containing lesser value compared to this then mmr will be updated with this arc that means i'm going to write the maximum of each row in the respective mm arrays location so this is my max and obviously here i should be calculating the mean c so for c is equal to 0 c less than c upper bound and c plus plus that means i'm now i'm scanning in this way so c is equal to 0 to c upper bound value is equal to a 0 c what is a 0 c that is the 0th row that is the first data in the cth column will be kept in value so now let me scan the rest number of rows let me scan the rest number of rows then for r is equal to 1 r less than equal to r upper bound r plus plus if flag star value is greater than flag star a r c so if the value is greater then i'm updating that means i'm calculating here mean now for all for all rows i'm finding out whether this value is matching with this at the same time whether this value has been kept in mm array if it is so print saddle point is equal to value at location rc i'm getting printed and now flag is equal to flag minus one also i could have written flag is equal to minus one so now the same loop will calculate mean so i'm going to get saddle point in min max and max min logics so i think you are getting my logic how the same loop can calculate maximum in the first time 
looping and minimum in the second time looping. So, whatever we planned, whatever we chalked out has been has been written in the respective C like algorithm. Obviously, if you want to run this program, you should have to do some little bit changes in your program in your C code because print that is no function print is there in C programming. So, you will be going for printf and accordingly you should have to do the formatting of some. I did not uh, keep this semicolon at the end of each and every standard because I, because I was writing only the C like algorithm. So, at the end of each and every st uh, statement I am not writing any semicolon here, it is not mandatory, but I could have also written that one. I think you, you are getting my logic and thanks for watching this video.